Hi boys and girls, Nana Sharon here with Bella and Posey and Papa is behind the camera. Today I want to read you a story, so let's sit down, fold our hands, and get ready to listen. This book is Blue's Garden, book six of the Blue's Clues Discovery Series. Well, we've been planting things for our garden already this year too, so this could be pretty fun to read. <clears throat> Blue and I are so excited. Some of the vegetables we planted in our garden are finally ready to pick and eat. Will you help us figure out which vegetables are ready to pick? You will? Great! Mmm, which vegetables are ready to pick? Oh, that big head of lettuce. Yeah, it looks ready to me too. Two cucumbers, there's a couple, and there's a couple, and there's looks like there's another one over there. Yep, I see them. And three bright red tomatoes right there waiting for him. Good job. I bet they're nice and juicy. Mmm. So what should we do with the vegetables we just picked? Good thinking. We can use them to make lunch. Oh, and he picked them in a sand pail. That's cute. <clears throat> Blue, what do you think we should make for lunch? Oh, Blue wants us to play Blue's Clues to figure out what she wants to make for lunch. Terrific. I love playing Blue's Clues, and this is Blue's Clue. Oh, what is it, Pale? This sign fell down. Do you know where it belongs? That's the tomato sign. Oh, there's tomatoes that are green. <clears throat> What's that a picture of? Oh, a tomato. Hey, here's the tomato plant. But the tomato on the sign is red and the ones on the plant are green. Right. That's because the tomato on the sign is ripe and the ones on the plant aren't. You are so smart. We did it. Yep. Here are the tomato plants, and now the sign is back where it belongs. What's that? Oh, a clue. See, there's a clue. Tomatoes are our first clue. Great. I think we need some more clues before we try and figure out the answer to Blue's Clues. <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Salt and Pepper. We just picked some vegetables from the garden. We're going to use them to make lunch. Would you like to join us? Hello, Steve. Hello, Blue. We would love to join you for lunch. We picked some fresh blueberries this morning. We will use them to make a pie for dessert. But first, we must wash them. <clears throat> Thanks for reminding me. Blue and I need to wash the vegetables we just picked, too. We'll just put the vegetables in the sink and turn on the water. A clue? You see a clue? Where? Aha! The pot. Good job. There's the clue on the pot. So what does Blue want to make for lunch using tomatoes and a pot? You're right. We should find our third clue before we try and figure out the answer. Hi, Mailbox. You got something for us today? Look, Blue, we sent our film away to be developed, and now we have our photos back. <gasps> I love looking at pictures. They help me remember things that we've done. Thanks for the photos, Mailbox. Wow, here are the pictures we took when we planted our garden last spring. What do you think we should do with them? Great idea. We'll put them on the fridge. Oh, but the photos are all mixed up. We want to put them in the, on the refrigerator in the same order that they happened. Will you help us? You will? Great. What do you think happened first? And then what happened? 
Well, let's see. Did they water it? Not before they they had to dig in the dirt a little bit. And was the plant right there? No, they first had to put the seeds in. So the digging and the seeds and the watering and then the plants. We did it. Our photos are all in the right order. Did we do it right? The digging, the seeds, the watering, and the plants. Yes, we did it. First we dug the holes in the dirt, then we put the seeds in the holes, then we watered the seeds and they grew into plants. Cool. What's that? You see a clue? Oh, right there, there's a clue. Where? Oh, on the soup bowl, yep. That's our third and last clue. We have all three clues. You know what that means? It's time to go to our thinking chair. Now, what do you suppose Blue wants to make for lunch that uses tomatoes and a pot and a soup bowl? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Something hot and tomatoey? Something like tomato soup? What do you say, Blue? Did we figure out what you want to make for lunch? We did. Hooray! Thanks so much for your help today. As you can see, Blue's tomato soup is a big hit. And we even made a salad with the lettuce and the cucumbers that we picked and some tomatoes in there too. Bon appetit. And this is Blue's funny friend garden. Hmm. You would need grass seeds, dirt or potting soil, a paper clip, markers, water, and a sunny spot. Well, decorate the outside of the paper cup with a funny face. Fill your paper cup with dirt or potting soil. And then push some holes in the dirt with your fingers and drop seed into each hole. Then cover the seeds back up with dirt. Water your seeds when you plant them. And, what, and then whenever the dirt is starting to get dry and then watch the grass grow and grow when the grass gets too long you can tie it with a ribbon or give your new friend a haircut that sounds like kind of fun <laughs>